Hey guys, Jay Brady here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to War Thunder. Today I got a different type of video for you guys. We're gonna check out the difference between DLSS on and DLSS off on different resolutions. Now in short, DLSS is the NVIDIA technology in which they take a lower resolution image and upscale it to your native resolution. And it's supposed to make it sharper with all their algorithm and technology, but it doesn't work in all games. I mean, for example, in control, DLSS on on quality mode looks beautiful. And in performance mode, it's a little bit less beautiful. And especially like uh, fences and tree branches and stuff like that it becomes kind of blurry. I'm, I'm going to show you that as well in this game. Um, but it's supposed to make it better. And in War Thunder, since War Thunder is an older game, I have a feeling like back in 2012 when they were making the game, making the textures and stuff like that, they probably already used lower resolution images and then upscaled it to make it like a 1080p image or something. So certain items in War Thunder or skins are still super blurry with DLSS on on quality mode, even with the settings that I have, because with the NVIDIA default settings, it's not as sh sharp and beautiful. It's really pixely if you have the default NVIDIA control panel settings. So I'm also gonna show you guys that the settings that I use to, to get the best performance and best quality with DLSS on, on quality mode. Now, before we start, I don't have like this super monstrous rig and the results might, might vary depending on the hardware you got. I'll have my specs on the screen so you guys can see what I'm running. Um, so let's just show you guys the settings that I'm using. All right, image sharpening, I have turned on the on position and uh, these are the values that I'm using. I believe these are the default values, so you can just leave it at this. Ambient occlusion is not available in War Thunder. Anostropic filtering, I use the application control setting. Anti-aliasing FXAA, I have on the off position. If it's turned on, you'll get a better quality, but I had some artifact issues, so I have that on the off position. Anti-aliasing gamma correction, I use it on the on position. Anti-aliasing gamma correction, I have that on the on position. Anti-aliasing mode, I have that on the enhanced application setting. Anti-aliasing setting, I have that on eight times. Anti-aliasing transparency, I have that on eight times super sample. Background application frame rate, I have that on the off position. CUDA GPUs, I have that on the all position. Low latency mode, I have that on ultra. Max frame rate, I have that on the off position. Monitor technology, I do have a G-Sync monitor, so it's on the G-Sync monitor. Multi-frame sampled AA, MFAA, I have that on the on position. OpenGL rendering GPU, I have that on the graphics card that I got. Power management mode, this is a, the, one of the most important ones. I have that on the maximum performance. You always want to have it on the maximum performance mode. Preferred refresh rate, I have that on the highest available. Shader cache, I have that on the on position. Texture filtering, anisotropic sample optimization, I have that on the off position. Texture filtering, negative LOD bias, I have that on clamp. Texture filtering quality, I have that on quality mode. Uh, there's also high quality, but that gives my FPS too much. And there's high performance, with does improve performance, gives you better FPS, but uh, that was too pixely for me. Texture filtering, trillionaire optimization, I have that on the on position. Threaded optimization, I have that on auto. Triple buffering, I have that on the off position. Vertical sync, I have that on the application control, but in game, I have it turned off. Virtual reality pre rendered frame, I have that on the one setting. So, those are the settings I use for War Thunder. I would not recommend it applying these settings to the global. Uh, settings menu because it will impact your computer and performance in different apps like a lot i can't even run photoshop with these settings that i have right here but war thunder runs fine and it's actually a lot better all right now let's hop back in game
Well guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. And if I miss something, if or if you guys have any question, please leave them down in the comment section down below. So with DLSS on, on 1440p, I get like around 150 FPS. With DLSS off, I get around 50 FPS on a 1440p monitor. And 1080p DLSS on, I get around 150 as well. And with DLSS off, I get around 70 FPS. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day. Peace out.